Hey everybody, hey Grove Love Homestead here. Um, I just wanted to do a little uh, short video about my Mustang um, grapes. So today we took four hours and went Mustang grape hunting and um, it's still in process. So I'm going to take a little video of what we're doing and explain a couple of things to y'all. Okay, hang in there. So we ended up with this bucket full and then we ended up with that bucket full also. Um, these are the ones that I have separated out they're gonna go in the pan tomorrow because we're gonna make mustang jelly so like i said this pan is gonna go in tomorrow um and i'm gonna try to finish this bucket today while we were out i actually found a mexican plum tree it's called so hopefully i didn't get very many of these but hopefully next year i can catch that plum tree right at the same time and or, or at the good at a good time and be able to pick some of the mexican plums because man they look really good i'm gonna wash one up here in a few and i'm gonna try it and see what it tastes like but we got a little bit of just a little flower that i picked while we were out and the i'm gonna show y'all i don't know if i have a good leaf or not in here to show y'all how to identify a mustang grape uh grapevine so on this side, well, that one's a young one. On this one, this one's kind of burnt. But on this side right here, it's going to be like this green color. And your leaf is going to be in a heart shape, guys. Um, whenever you turn it over, this side should be fuzzy. It should feel kind of velvety and kind of fuzzy. That's how you know you got yourself a Mustang grape vine. Um, and like I say, it should be in the shape of a heart. This one's kind of crusty on this side, but that's okay. Um, so like this one. Like this tiny one, it's in the shape of a heart, and it's fuzzy on this side. And your grapes are gonna look like this, and or green, or like um, like a light purple. Maybe they're not quite ready yet. Um, they come in clusters like this, which are very beautiful clusters. Um, sometimes here the green, kind of the green color. That's a nasty one, but. They make some really pretty dark jelly is what they make and i'm ready to just get it over with i think tomorrow again tomorrow being saturday because today's friday me and my friend across the street are gonna go and um check out and see if we can find another spot because we do make a lot of jelly with this um i want to show you all my these that are separated right here i have the and you got to catch these because i'm going to make poor man's olives so you got to catch these when they're kind of um barely starting out see they're kind of still hard so it means that they don't have the seed in them just yet because they're kind of still starting out but i'm going to make some poor man's jelly with this i mean poor man's olives with this and um see how that goes that'll be my first time doing that actually hush wriggle this will be my first time doing this but this will be my second year making the um the jelly so whenever we get to the jelly part, I'll bring y'all back and we'll see how we'll see how everything's going, guys. So stick around. Hey, Grove Love Homestead, guys. This is the second part of the muscadine um, grapes that we picked. I've got three batches going so far. And I got my poor man's olives going in here. We'll see how those turn out. Um, and then over here, don't want to swing you too much. Well, we're going to move it up moved it to here this is another batch that's going to go on the stove after those um olives are done um i would advise y'all whenever you go and um you do pick your muscadine grapes be careful wear long sleeves wear gloves because as of right now me and my husband are full of poison ivy so wear gloves wear long sleeve shirts be careful your surroundings and um you know just watch just kind of watch what you're doing if you're allergic to poison ivy i've never had poison ivy so this is my first time having poison ivy or poison oak or sumac or whatever it is but tomorrow we will probably be going to the doctor for that because we are just covered in it and this itches like you would not believe and the they say that the um the muscadine grape it's an itchy grape anyways but that usually typically that itch will go away you'll know the difference between poison ivy and the itchy the itchiness from the leaves um, on the muscadine grapes so just you know fair warning y'all be careful out there when you're picking grapes um, I will get back to y'all whenever we are going to be putting these guys in some um, sugar and um, 
get them canned up and I will link y'all the uh, the uh, recipe that I use in the bottom so y'all stick around for that Acre of Love Homestead guys okay so we're, I'm going to do a small one about what we've got going on here so in each one of these fonts we have six cups of juice and we have six and a half cups of um, sugar and then we have eight teaspoons or tablespoons excuse me eight tablespoons of this real fruit classic pectin you're going to let that come to a boil which this one just started coming to a boil you're going to let this boil for a little bit technically you're supposed to put like a um, tablespoon of um, lemon like a lemon so all this frothy stuff it won't happen i didn't have a lemon so i'm just going to go with it that way um, but always put a, a tablespoon of uh, lemon in there that way you don't get that frothiness um, but this is where we're at right now. I've got my jars in the oven to keep them warm. Excuse me, my oven is a little dirty. But um, this is where we're at at this point. The, the point after this is going to go into the jars. You'll put them in the jars and you'll put them in a rolling bath for five minutes. After the five minutes, um, you'll take them out and sit them on the counter. But we'll get to that here in a few. Stay tuned. All right, everybody, we are back. Um, so I finished up drawing all of our jelly, all this back through here. That's all grape mustang grape jelly. From here over, this right here, I made grape juice. Grape juice, grape juice, grape juice. These are canned. They will go on a shelf. I have five uh, bottles that will actually go in the refrigerator. Um, but we are canned up and ready to be set on a shelf. Hopefully everything sets right. Hopefully I don't have to go back tomorrow and redo anything. Because you can do that if it doesn't set up the first time. If maybe you didn't have enough pectin in there, you can go back, put everything in a pot, add more pectin, and it should set up again. That's what happened to me last year. But we'll see. So like I say, all this right here is nothing but grape juice. And then this right here is my poor man's olives. These are made out of the green, out of the green um, grapes that you find. The only thing I put in here was um, some brining salt. Uh, one teaspoon of vinegar. I put some pepper flakes and two cloves of garlic down in the bottom. Now you can put other things in there. Um, that's just kind of what I went with because I didn't have everything else on the shelf. But that's what we went with. And I think it's going to be great. Hopefully. But that's all of our jelly, guys. Um, I'll give you all the recipe um, down below. That way if you all want to follow it. Um, Actually, I might wait to put that down in, in the in the comments below because if it doesn't set up, I'm gonna have to figure out something else. So I may wait on that. But it was um, it was six six um, cups of grape juice, six and a half cups of sugar, eight tablespoons of pectin. That's what we put in, and that was in different pots. That wasn't on the same pot. That was in different pots. So, yep, that's what we got, guys. Like and subscribe. Stick around for more. See you later.